Hello everyone, this is TechBizmo, and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a tutorial on how to connect your printer to your computer um, using CUPS. So yeah guys, let's go ahead and get started with this video. Um, so basically, the first step is to go ahead and open up, uh, you want to go ahead and open up your browser and just type in the URL bar localhost um, colon 631 and then it'll come up with this page right here. Another thing that you will want to note is that you want to make sure that your printer is is on, your printer is connected to the internet, whatever or however you want to set it up, you know, um, just, you know, make sure your printer's on, make sure it's connected to the internet, everything's ready, so um, it is good for this video. So anyway, let's get started with that. So after the first step um, of going to localhost uh, colon 631, um, as I said, you will be presented by the screen that says CUPS 2.2.6, uh, which is, you know, the current version that is out right now. Uh, but, you know, if, if you're watching this a year later or something, it could be something different. So, yeah, the next step is to go ahead and go over to the administration tab right here on the um, site. And uh, you want to go ahead and go over to this um, this area where it says printers and then um, under printers you will see add a printer find new printers and manage printers so what you're want, going to want to do is go ahead and click add printer and um, basically let me go ahead and just remove this um, when you are um, adding a printer it will ask you um, for a um, username and password and the username is simply just root and then the password is your root password on your computer. So, um, for example, uh, if my password was uh, pacman123, then I'd, I just type pacman123 as the password, you know. You get the idea, so I'm just going to go ahead and put in my password and just go ahead and log in. So you'll go ahead and wait for that to load up. Um, just wait for that to log in, and here we are. Um, we have a bunch of connections right here, a bunch of printers, a bunch of, you know, you've got uh, this, this tab that says local printers, discovered network printers, and other network printers. Um, and so the one, you're going to go ahead and look for the one that you want to connect. So the one that I'm, I'm going to be connecting is this one right here. Um, as you may see, there is HP OfficeJet um, and OfficeJet E500, um, you know, uh, these are pretty much the same, except that this one's driverless and this one actually comes with the, uh, you know, good drivers. But I'm not really sure what the difference is, uh, but I, though I found... Um, I found that this one actually works a little bit better sometimes. Uh, but you know, that varies. It happens sometimes. Sometimes this one just, like, it, uh, when you print a document, it prints instantly. And when you do this one, it prints um, instantly. But, you know, it just varies. Um, so, I don't know. We'll just go ahead and go ahead and pick uh, the top one right here, which is OfficeJet e, uh, 6500. Um, and then, you know, a bunch of other um, stuff. So we'll go ahead and click on that, and what you want to do after this point is just go ahead and click continue. And then this is the point where you're going to go ahead and name your printer. So for instance, I could just name it uh, Tech Bismos Printer. I could do something like that, though I think, not sure um, if it does accept um, spaces. So I think you'll have to do um, tab or underscore, but you know, just, just go ahead and find out, see what happens. So. Um, we'll just go ahead and do that for now, and then the description, you can leave it as it is if you want. And then after that, just go ahead and click continue. And just wait for that to load up. And now you'll be presented by this screen, and I just go ahead and click add printer. Um, however, I already have this printer added to my computer. Um, so yeah, I don't need to go ahead and add printer, but I'm going to show you really quick. So if I go to print settings, um, and open up this window, now we've got our printers. Um, this one is actually the one I connected with the, um, CUPS, and this is the one I connected with HP, um, HP LIP GUI. Um, these two, the fax and, uh, the, uh, weird named one, you know. <laughs> just this extended name, and this, this is just the, the, um, the default name, and this one's just an extended um, model name. Um, yeah, you know, it has the extended model number and stuff, uh, as well as the fax does, but yeah, so that is how you can add a printer using CUPS or localhost colon 631. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and let me know what you guys thought. Uh, let me know if this video was helpful for you. Um, 
yeah, I guess that's all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.